Hey guys, this lesson will introduce you to the basic camera controls and teach you how to prepare your camera for shooting professional quality video. There are different types of video cameras including small handy cams such as this one that range in price from a few hundred dollars to around a thousand dollars. These are consumer cameras but still take great looking video. Sometimes the higher end of these types of cameras are called prosumer. Then there are the larger mid-range professional cameras. They're usually in the four to six thousand dollar range. And for professional broadcasting, there are full-size, very expensive cameras that can cost up to one hundred thousand dollars or even more. For this lesson, we'll use a handy cam. But no matter which type or brand of camera you have, it will have the same features and controls. To get started with the camera, make sure that you have a charged battery and that it is properly installed in the camera. The battery compartment is usually in the back of the camera and the battery will fit in only one way. We recommend that you always keep a spare charge battery on hand so you never run out of power during a shoot. Now open the LCD display on the side of the camera and then find the power switch. Turn the camera on there will be a display in the LCD window that tells you that the camera is ready to shoot. Most cameras have a recording mode, a playback or VTR mode, and sometimes even a still photo mode. If the screen doesn't show you what the camera is pointed at, simply switch through the modes until you are in recording mode. There are a lot of controls in the camera for things like exposure, white balance, shutter speed, preset scene modes, and recording format. These are all covered in other lessons, but for now we're going to make sure the camera is in auto mode so it takes care of all the technical adjustments by itself. A very important control in the camera is the start stop button. This tells the camera when to record and when to stop. This button is always well marked and is usually bright red and is in a convenient place for your thumb to push it. This is the zoom control which is usually marked with a W for wide and T for tight. Wide shows more of what's in front of the camera and tight zooms in to show a closer view. Later we'll give you more information on what to do and what not to do with this control. There's usually a button you push that turns the display information off and on. You want to leave it on while you're shooting as the display will give you important information like how much battery time you have left and how much time is left on the tape. The display also shows when you are in record mode which is very important. It's a common mistake to leave the camera and record by accident. And sometimes people even get mixed up and think they're recording when they're not. Always look for the red record indicator to make sure you're actually recording. This is what it looks like when you are recording. And this is when the camera is paused. There is usually a control to put the camera in auto mode. Make sure this is activated. On this camera, it is called easy mode. And it's clear in the display that it is selected. When you're in automatic mode, many of the manual controls are turned off, so you can't do anything to accidentally mess up your picture. The other hardware controls on the camera are auto manual focus. This lets you override the camera's auto focus. We recommend that you leave this on auto all the time. If you switch it to manual, then forget to change it back, all your video will be out of focus. The backlight switch. Sometimes you'll be shooting a person in front of a bright window or sky. This button temporarily changes the camera's exposure to make the person in the frame brighter, but it also blows out or washes out the detail of the background. You should only use this when you really need it. If you activate it, then forget to change it back, all your video will be too bright. There's usually an indicator in the viewfinder when this control is turned on. So those are your basic camera controls. To learn more about specific controls and how you can customize your camera, just continue on with this course. In addition to the LCD screen, all cameras have a viewfinder that you can put up against your eye. This is really only useful if you can't see the LCD screen because of the bright sunlight, but it forces you to hold the camera against your face, which limits how you can shoot. If you have other controls on your camera, just refer to its instruction manual for an explanation. Generally speaking though, if you're not sure what something does, don't use it. For now, keep the camera in auto or easy mode and you're ready to start shooting.